All right, hey guys, welcome to Doom 64. So I got this as a part of the uh, Doom Eternal pre-order package or whatever. Uh, so I'm just showing you the intro. And uh, yeah, I know high res. It's it's actually pretty good. Do you notice that Cyber Demon like in the middle there is uh, is just shooting at the camera all the time? Because <laughs> uh, I guess it's something to do with how this works. But anyways, so. I'll get more into this port and how kind of it it kind of goes down. As yeah, so this guy this guy does nothing but shoot at our camera. And look at that. It's fu it's really fancy uh really fancy technology. So this was uh I guess like a 1997 release given the what the intro movie was kind of saying. Uh so for any for just a bit of background on this. Okay, that's this is actually absurdly loud, believe it or not. Um, so, uh, obviously this game came out a very long time ago. Um, the port is as, as a, pretty good, I would say. Uh, it's obviously not like as good as like a source port of like um, like a proper like GZ Doom or some. Whoopsies, I just fucking completely exited out of this. It's not like a proper port of like GZ Zoom or something, like something decent. But... Uh, it's still pretty good, I would say. Uh, they they basically try to keep true, and this is Night Dive Studios that does this stuff, and I've played a couple other things like Turok and some other stuff, and they're really good at actually just capturing what, I guess, the original essence of these kind of older titles are. And I kind of tried that out the first level, and it's still it's still pretty good, I'd say. Um, night, like, like I said, Night Dive does a pretty good job. Bethesda kind of added their own shittiness to it, as, as, as they do like with Bethesda Net. Oh good, you get to see my email. Hilarious. <laughs> oh well. Um, <laughs> anyways, uh, so uh, it is what it is. <laughs> <I'm bored. laughs> anyway, <laughs> I don't. I don't really care. It's. It's. It, I mean, it's a pretty obvious email. It's like it's similar to my my YouTube, right? Anyways, um, so with that being said, uh, I it doesn't say much for the game because this game was originally developed by Midway Studios. So anything I would criticize about it would basically be probably more directed towards Midway, which is now, I think, a defunct company. And they weren't known for a lot of things. They were known for some things. I mean, they made, like, I think they made Paperboy. Uh, that's the only thing I know of that they did. Uh, they did a bunch of shit, but it was, like, really hit and miss all over the place. Maybe there's, like, something they, they did that was really good. I know they did something related to MechWare, but I think they were maybe just a publisher or something. I don't recall. Like, like I know the name enough to know they they're involved in certain games that i liked but i i'm pretty sure they didn't survive to today um and yeah and so yeah so night night dive studios then you know uh made it go do whatever so all right let's go so uh we started a new game uh four difficulties now i these are obviously not like hurt me plenty and all that kind of stuff they're not the typical difficulty levels um and I kind of, I, I did look it up a little bit of, of what the difference is. So watch me die. This is not Nightmare. This is, this is not, this is not the same as Nightmare. Because um, Nightmare was kind of like more of a joke difficulty in, in, in Doom 1 and stuff. Where like, they just made it absurd difficulty with responding enemies and stuff. This is actually a more like Ultra Nightmare, honestly. Uh, and I tried it out a little bit too. And it was like, it was like perfectly manageable, so... We're just gonna play on the the, the hardest difficulty because my because this is like honestly this is a console port right now like I'm not I'm actually not kidding with you right now. It's not to say that's a bad thing, but it's like you know it is it is a thing. So I kind of learned about what some of these secrets are. Look at my freaking fists. I mean, you know what? The Doom guy always had gloves. To be honest, oh, they can also see me. I don't know. We're gonna go right to the fist. So we got a shotgun here. Did it just respawn? Or I, no, no, I got another one. And like, look, look at these barrel explosions. Like literally some fucking low res like N64 stuff. And apparently I'm not ba allowed back up here. Well, right now, oh shit, I'm getting ambushed. So, so yeah, um, so there's no jump key. There's no looking. So as far as I can tell, like if I actually show you the keys right now, I'll show you what inputs they have. For this because it's, kind of, it's kind of interesting so they have the strafing the attack the speed and it does some shit where it like like it goes between what the, the what the controller would be and not uh you got like your nine weapons so they actually did bind weapons thank fuck for that um 
Because imagine if, like, they kept the same kind of deal with, like, uh, like it being absolutely, and they have savings. So, like, this is, and this is what Night Dive do does, is they make it more of a PC game uh, when, you know, normally they wouldn't do that. StarCraft 64 was awesome. You know what? Uh, I mean, I did, I did, I did the best LP on the internet for that one. And it was, it was a, it was a true winner, let me tell you. <laughs> I, I camcorder LP and everything, man. Anyways, uh, so I'm not good. So here's our pinky, the first pinky actually we've seen now. And there they, there they go. So I mean, the, the game is a little bit easier just because I have a mouse and keyboard. Can, like, can you imagine using this, like playing this with like an N64 controller? Like, I hate to say it, but N64 controller was probably really not the most ideal for uh, for uh, FPS, let alone any controller for FPS. But let's not get into elitist prick kind of territory right now. Um, that that comes later in the in the video series, uh, but anyways, it, it's it, it's what it's just one of those things that like yeah it's the port is pretty good because like as you can see I'm just moving around fine I, I know I can't go up and down and obviously there's a I guess they they really felt like they had to to over outdo the the Doom one uh, chainsaw it even has UAC on it as a as a thing on it uh, so. And this is kind of like, and you're gonna, you're. This is not obviously typical Doom, uh, Doom One stuff. I actually don't know where all the secrets are, but whatever. Uh, this is not typical Doom One. It, this is just a thing at the time. It was a really weird thing at, for the time, which is like everything on the N64. It's like, oh shit, you know, N64 is super strong. We have to make our own kind of like, like they they just appended 64 to everything and made it like a vastly different game. And the whole the whole point of this was to basically go like. You know, it's a vastly different game than the PC game because the N64 is so powerful, blah, blah, blah. Like, it, it's just for the time, if you grew up with, like, the, the advertising that kind of happened at the time, that's kind of what it was. I have never played Doom 64, by the way, so this is technically a blind run through this game. Uh, but they did some really fucking things. Yeah, well, PC Lite, yeah. Um, if you actually look at some of the hardware uh, stuff related to the N64, it's actually pretty interesting what what kind of its strengths and stuff were. Actually, uh, I have to actually press a button here to open that up. If I remember where that button is, it's right here. So they have like a timed uh, door here. So they had some kind of some neat shit going on with this, but uh, I mean, like I said, this is not the Doom devs. I think at all. I think they. Ha I'm pretty sure they had nothing to do with this at all. Um, uh, you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, this is just a vastly different thing. I'm not gonna say it's an inferior product, but it's definitely not great uh, so far. Because uh, I've been kind of playing through it, I'm like, well, it, it, it hasn't aged the best uh, in terms of level design, but I've only played one level, so what the fuck do I even know? So, you know. And this, is, this is the part where we get ambushed by pinkies. And the pinkies are pretty easy to, to evade their attack, because all you have to do is step back, like, one tile. It's, it's, a, it's as long as you don't get hit by the end of their animation, then you just live. So it's like, it is what it is. And there's, there's an overabundance of ammo all over the place, too, so you're never short on ammo, either. It's not a particularly stressful game. Um, but it, it, it's like I keep saying, like, it's you can't really judge it, because it's just, like, it's for the time. It's a, it, it was a console game kind of a thing, so... You know. Whoops. Let it go up. Well, we'll see. We'll see how like imaginative, imaginative some of it is, because I'm kind of interested to know too. Uh, I need to open that up again. Like, I, I, I'm not going to just spend my time shitting on it, because obviously it's uh, you know, it's it's old. So this actually brings you back to the beginning of the level in case you're an idiot and, and didn't get the berserk back there. Uh, so basically, are you me right now? Um, and it opens up kind of more things. So you know what? I can't I can't say the level design is overly bad because it's really not. Um, and this would be basically that would be showing where the uh, the mega health was that I picked up earlier. So I'm gonna head back up. I don't know where all the secrets are. These are just the ones I managed to find on my first runs of this. Just because it's old doesn't mean you're allowed to uh, not allowed to show them if it's bad. Um, yeah, and and like I said, it, everything's in context of. Um, you know, the fact that it did come out, like, blah 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 years ago, right? That's, that's the main thing to kind of take into account, um... And it, it is a game kind of designed more around for, like, a controller kind of a, a playstyle, right, I guess. So that's why, you know, it is, it is what it is. But, like, Doom... 
Doom is a is just a fucking classic, right? Like everyone goes like, oh, that's a classic PC game. This was not like a platform seller on N64. Nobody goes, oh, Doom 64, man, I, I love that on my... I don't know anybody who's ever said that. Because Doom always overshadows it in a lot of ways. And, and straight up ports also do too, uh, as well. Because they did a port on like... That's by the way an imp and I just killed him immediately. Um, that was the first time we've seen an imp. So I don't, I don't think there's any other secrets here for me. Just kind of look around. Yeah, probably not. It, usually the secrets have been fairly obvious, but uh, but the, I only got like half of them, I, I would say. The atmosphere here here feels a bit bad to do. Yeah, you know what? Actually, that, that's my first complaint. What's with the music? The music is the music is literally like not Doom at all. That's the first thing, um, and uh, that's that's actually my main uh, piss off about this kind of thing. It's like a reskin GoldenEye 64. I mean, yeah. I mean, that seems that seems pretty kind of accurate about about it. Oh, look, guys, write down. This is the password for my bank account, by the way. So if you want to write that down, go right ahead. Um, and we're entering the Terraformer. So they don't have the end, end game level screens or anything like that uh, as a part of this either. So, like 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 I said. I, I honestly, it, it's kind of weird because it does feel like Doom 1 was a superior product in every way to this, um, obviously. Oh my god, it's... Okay, so by the way, this is blind for me now. I have not played any of this, so... The fuck? <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm gonna guess that this is just gonna open up a bunch of guys. Oh, I got the chain gun. So, now, yeah, now we're in blind territory. So the first level is the only one I tried out to see if I... It would do whatever and that's it. it sounds like you're judging just by the first level I'm guessing that and that's more of like a first impressions thing I like to I like to talk uh, while I'm uh, kind of uh, kind of like still getting into it I might change my mind by the end of it we'll see um, oh hey the lights went on I mean some of these are, I mean some of the effects are pretty cool like I said it's it's you have to take a lot of I guess I guess it's one of those contextual things of Back, back in like uh, you know, whatever, 1997. This is this is I guess better than Doom One because of like graphically and stuff. But like some of it's also like the port as well. You have to remember that too. So this port also makes things a little bit better. So like graphically wise, yeah, because you get this is not the graphics you obviously were getting way back when. Uh, this is obviously a little bit like hey, it's actually t like you know, uh, well. 1080 to you guys and 144 to uh, YouTube kind of a thing. So it's more like Doom 3. You know, that's an accurate uh, that's an accurate statement actually. Did it just did it just teleport it over here? Is it teleporting the key away from me? I think it's just on a timer now. What the fuck? Alright, we got our first puzzle guys and I'm already stumped. Yeah, I, I just I, I I noticed it's warping in random places. Is it gonna go back here though? Is the question, or is it gonna go back there? Also, just opened up a bunch more doors. Let's see if it's gonna come back. No, it's just gonna stay here. Did that thing just crush me? Are you fucking kidding? Okay, they uh, okay. I'm pretty sure they all crush me. So or maybe not, because that this one's different from the rest of them. Okay. No, fuck. I'm, uh, I'm, too, I'm too much of a baddie. I have to go here. I, I, I'm kind of interested to know how much it had a say in anything that happened here. I guess they had like creative direction control. But like I said, the name I see on it is Midway Game, so it's hard to say. And also there's your quick save. It's, it's probably more like a save state, to be honest. That's how that works. All right, we got another mega health here. It, welcome to this game script, uh, scripting system. Like I said, it's I, I can't. I guess I can't say much. Uh, I'll, it's hard to, like as I said, I'm not drawing any final conclusions not until much later about it. Uh, but you know, it's just initial kind of things. It's like, oh, I mean, like I said, it's one of those things where I, all I know about it is the fact that oh, light amp uh, light amp goggles. That would have been useful when I was going through like the darkness before. Oh well. 
Um, like I said, I, I, when, when people, I only know what I've heard about it on the internet, and people say it was different, but it necess don't, wasn't necessarily, like, as I said, it wasn't like a, a system seller for N64. When people talk about N64 games, they often talk about, uh, like, Perfect Dark, GoldenEye, things like that. Those are all the ones that overshadow everything, right? So. Oh, hey, we're gonna actually get a rocket launcher at some point. Mike likes to get stepped on, confirmed. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's just how it goes. Oh, we got the we got the we got the slightly invisible pinkies, as well. But but it's like I said that that the original game would not look anything like that at all. So this is just kind of like more the poor stuff. I'm gonna say that the models are definitely something that they kept the same, but it's hard to know what. I, I actually like I like I said I've only seen like screenshots and I can see that's that's kind of cool. You can see what the lower part is of the level, I guess. Uh, I don't have a red key yet, so I should probably keep going this way because I went to this blue door and didn't get anything out of it. So we'll see how intuitive this level design is, which is fuck. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so this is, I think, where I started, I believe. It was something, like, over here. Yeah, and this... Oh, wait, what's over here, actually? That's a Berserk pack again. I, I, I'm assuming... Oh, yeah, okay. I'm like... Uh, I, I, you know what? This honestly looks like the starting place, but it totally isn't. This is somewhere else. And now I'm, now, now, now we've got the crush thing. Why does this resemble now more Half-Life, to be honest? Oh, shit, there you go. You got this now. Let's use the chain gun a little bit more, just because uh, it's a weapon we haven't used that much. Does it share ammo with the? Uh, yeah, it does share ammo with the uh, chain, uh, the pistol, which is good, because nobody like nobody ever likes the pistol except for that one guy who likes the pistol. What's with those strobing lights here? Is that just the lights on the? F yeah, okay. That's there's something special about those. All right. Nightdive emulated the smoothing method of the N64, uh, uh, N64, uh, as far as you know. I mean, like I said, uh, I, you probably you weren't here for that, but I was basically complimenting the fact that Night, uh, Nightdive Studios did it, because I do like when they do the ports. They've done really great N64 ports, to be honest. When I saw their name on it, I'm like, oh, hey, they materialize. They always do really good ports on old... And some more stuff, and it may have. Oh, I see. It's like a, it's like a, it's like an antlion crusher, <laughs> whatever the fuck they're called. I think it's like changing the level, but I think they're doing some tricks, so they don't want me out there to look at it. Because they're working with like some weird, image, weird like level limitations. All right, it's not gonna go again, yeah. Or they don't want me to kill myself either one. Oh, dude, look at this. This is, uh... We're going to the Mall of the Future. Look at this shit. It, it actually takes you downward. Uh, actually, takes you downward a little bit. Just, just as far as you are on the platform. So they actually have moving platforms on this. Which is... I, I don't know if the Doomed Engine was ever capable of that. I don't even know if this is the Doom Engine, honestly. I, I don't know anything at all. <laughs> I'm gonna probably say no. Um, because there's just some elements which kind of doesn't look like it is. You're the Doom Engine? Oh, okay. You might be correct. Quite honestly, there was a long time where I mistakenly thought that the Dark Forces engine was the Doom engine. Because it just felt like so much like it. Um, but apparently that was not actually the case. I thought it was like a modded one, honestly. And it, it, it super wasn't. I have never been more wrong in my life. They actually just like, they actually just rolled their own or some shit. I don't even know what they did. I, I've been corrected on that actually several times over the years in that, in that video series. The lights were the safe. Oh yeah, yeah. sorry. Apparently, the lights earlier were the safe places instead. I, I may, I may realize that now. Well, I, I guess they were trying to do that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a modded Doom engine, you say? 
I mean, it, it's yeah. I mean, like I said, the the stuff where the your the platforms are moving and stuff. I I don't know. It's uh, one of those kind of more interesting kind of ways of going about it. Where does this take me? Uh, we're over here. I uh, just wanted me to go here and get this thing. Does it go back up? No, it doesn't. It's not timed one. Okay, so we found a secret area, but like, it's like, well, we don't have the rocket launcher. We've gotten a lot of rocket uh, rocket launcher ammo, but we haven't gotten the rocket launcher. And I kind of want that now. So here's the map, and we can actually, I, there's like keys to, which one is it? Oh, here we go, that's that's the zoom out, zoom in. The hell? One sec. There's another key, oh, Q, there you go. So they actually have a, they actually have a pretty rudimentary map here. I mean, it's actually not bad. It's pretty. It's pretty good. Oh yeah, you can, you can also do this, but you can't do like a mini map overlay, uh, which is kind of a little bit sad. Or like like the one where like you can still see where you're going, but because in this one I have to basically do this kind of thing, which is a little bit strange, but you know, is what it is. Now, did I see a red key anywhere? Um, or what? What was it? I got the yellow one actually, because this is a red key right here. I I don't really recollect. It was a thousand years ago in Mike Lett years. Uh, no, it wasn't anything down there. Oh, here's a yellow door. Actually, a blue door here, too. Or no, it's not a blue door, it's like a blue something. I don't even know what that is. That's gonna be the level light. My mind doesn't go back that far, I'm sorry. Oh, exit. Alright. Good to know it's the exit. Oh uh, yeah. They even have like a the interesting loading transition as well, which is something that the hardware was pretty pretty decent at actually. Oh shit, 100 percent secrets? 50% secrets, man. That seems to happen a lot. Alright, so now we're entering main engineering. They don't they didn't seem to really go with like a any kind of story whatsoever, because if I actually, actually go here, there's no health message or anything. It's just like... I mean, to be honest, you played Doom 1 for the story, let's be honest. Oh shit, super shotgun? And it has no animation to it. <laughs> uh, dude, the animation is the best part. Oh, wait, no, it has an animation. It just lazily kind of goes back into position. Yeah, the story is there, but it's not important. No, 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 there, there is an animation for this. If you If you zoom in the pixels, you'll actually see it. <laughs> um, how did they not bring it? Because this is this is obviously a this is a two D sprite. How did they not actually like make a decent animation for it? What the hell? Oh, it's telling me I have to get the blue key card. I mean, that was more of like a Saiyan key card, but you know, maybe we actually had difficulty fitting in as much in the previous game due to the cartridge size. I thought the cartridge size was more limited by what the what the publisher is willing to pay for. Uh, a publisher, but sprites don't sprites don't cost a lot of space, I would think. I'm gonna I'm gonna blame whoever wanted to do the animation for this one, because they just they just didn't want to do it. Or so, there's some there must have been some other reason, but that nothing beats the super shotgun animation from Doom One. Uh, Doom, Doom One, there was no super shotgun from the from the other one from Doom uh, Doom Two. That, that shit was cash. I mean, most of the animations were also pretty good when you shoot the weapons. They got that, they got, they nailed the fuck out of that. It was so good. Uh, Doom 64 Wiki Engine. ID Tech 1 Kex Engine re-release? Oh no, the Kex Engine, I think that's what this is. The, the Kex Engine is what they call, I guess, what this one is. So it was, I, it was in Tech 1, okay. Well, it's good to know. I, I honestly I couldn't really tell because um, there's enough change with it I, I'm not sure uh, but then again I'm not, like I said I'm not actually really technically playing in uh, in tech one and playing uh, uh, whatever it is the Kex engine or the flip that is so I'm not wrong but I'm more talking about the port I guess than anything else all right well there's nothing else here but I did get a blue key card so um, just over here oh shit it's a uh, it shoots fireballs. I, that's like a 
that's not a Kaku Demon, and it's not the other thing either. Fuck, I, don't, I forgot what the other one was called. So it's not summoning pain elementals. It's just shoot, it's like it's a Kaku Demon with arms, and it's actually kicking my ass. Yeah, you know, the sad thing is they don't have the they don't have the fast projectiles on when you play on the nightmare difficulty. I kind of miss that. Uh, I don't want to go through the teleporter. Uh, maybe I want to go through the teleporter. Turok one and two, Forsaken and Blood Flare Supply are did night night dive in uh, uh, in house engine. That's super interesting that there was so much similarity between them. It's like I said, oh, there's there's some lost souls. So you have Lost Souls and then these guys, but like... So these are not- oh, here we go, now they're actually going to me. Okay, so they do have actually Lost Soul AI. Oh, what's this one? No, I think... I believe that's a secret, uh, maybe a secret, I don't know. Oh shit, another one here. No, it's not a secret at all. Oh. I was gonna do like a strafe, uh, strafe bullshit over there, but I actually can't. Actually, maybe I can. Okay, wait, hold on a second. I need to try this again. Actually, I, I believe you don't even do strafing. I think you just go normally. No, you don't. Well, I could see that the what it, where it wants me to go there. Can I do like some shit where I'm like on here? No. Well, we could see we're supposed to kind of go here, but. Oh, <laughs> uh, I could just take the elevator up. That that's definitely an idea. Uh, and I, I I do like Night Dive Studios. I don't think they're doing though the system. Well, no, they did the System One, uh, System Shock One, System One, System Shock One uh, remake. I know they did that. I'm pretty sure they did that. And then they were originally, I think, going to do the System Shock Three game, but then they didn't do it or something. I don't I, remaster. Yeah, that's the one. They did that one. It's not a remake. You're right. Oh, rocket launcher. You know what? We've been working up to this this weapon for like an hour. It's uh, it's a rocket launcher. I'll tell you that much. Quite honestly, I went <laughs> I went back to this weapon immediately. I wonder how much splash damage you take actually. Uh, for s actually, well, let me just save it then first. Uh, you take it for a bit. How's the loading work? Okay, so it's like that. So you take like 60 damage and splash damage, so it's not an unsubstantial amount. Alright. What? Obviously, Rocket Launcher is the main weapon used against Lost Souls. Alright, for some reason I want to press my crouch key, but I don't have a crouch key. And, I, and there's like a crap ton of like little minuscule health packs here. I was aiming up and down working this. Uh, the answer is it doesn't. Uh, there is no aiming up and down. Uh, not even not even like the fake uh, 2.5D aiming up and down. Uh, there's just absolutely none whatsoever. So I'm not sure how that translated to the controller, but uh, uh, apparently it didn't. So, all right, we got some health there. What? What? What was that? I think it was a time door triggered by the fact I was over here. It was a time door, and I. Oh, they they have a <laughs> they have a little step for me to go up to. There we go. And now we get to just have fun killing these guys. Uh, you're rather puzzled why people keep asking for uh, vertical mouse look. Uh, I wouldn't have asked for it, honestly. I think it's fine the way it is. Because to be honest, you didn't have vertical mouse look in Doom 1, really. To be honest, you didn't have it there. It, it That came only much later with like engine ports and stuff. People expect too much like GZ Doom and stuff, right? So that was not when I, when I came into this and noticed that I couldn't look up and down. That wasn't a concern for me. I didn't really care. So I need a red key card now. Because I, I wouldn't expect it at all. 
All right, so we don't need, well, actually, we can just go here one more time, see if anything else opens up. No, nothing else does. Oh, red key card just spawns here, huh? Oops, I fell down like a dope. Doom 64 predecessor to this port did have vertical mouse look, but Doom 64 X is now outdated. Sorry, I, I missed that part. Yeah, um, I don't see that. And you know what? To be honest, though, I kind of, I, I'm not, I'm not gonna criticize it at all for a lot of those kinds of flaws because I think it's good that we're kind of preserving and ex I, I, I like the fact we're preserving kind of like a piece of that kind of like gaming history kind of thing. Uh, now entering holding area. I like, I like the, the fact we're preserving it, is the first thing. The second off is, I get to experience this when normally I, I went to before, so I, I, to that, to that degree, I'm glad they did do this. I don't think, like, and I, and I would, I would like them to keep it relatively to what, how it kind of was way back then. So, so let me get my fucking N <laughs> N64 controller out, you know, that I can hook up by USB. Actually, I'm 90% sure that exists, so. Maybe I should do that, just to get the true experience, you know. Are you sure you want to preserve the N64 controller? You know, there's gonna be some diehard fan that will say that that was like their favorite controller, you know? Because they grew up with that shit, right? I mean, to be honest, like, Mario Party was really fun on the N64 controller. If you've ever if you've ever experienced that, it's so it's actually a lot of fun uh, to do that. I, I am a big fan of the Mario Parties. Oh, I see, you're supposed to go up here. Actually, is this not where I started? Yeah, this is where I started. What the hell? Why would it let me go back up there? Who knows? Maybe there's a secret up there. Uh, we'll leave the mega health there just because we don't have to pick that up immediately. Also, I don't, I don't need to blow up these barrels. Because there might be a reason I'd want them to stay. So, I do like the fact that they are preserving that level of history for me. You know? Because now I get to kind of now I get to kind of experience Doom 64 to a limited degree. Because I would not start this up in an emulator, no way. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, N64 controller confused you as a five-year-old. It took you a while to learn how to hold it. Um, so the whole idea with that controller actually was that you were supposed to be able to hold it in several ways. Because they actually weren't sure. This is this is as far as I know. I'm not I'm not an expert on N64 things. Just uh, just computer games, obviously. No, I'm not even an expert on that. Oh, Baron of Baron of uh, something. I don't know what the fuck. Is that Baron of Hell, or is that the other colored one? I'm just gonna call him a barony. Um, <laughs> the keyboard aiming only. Can I actually do that, dude? I totally can. Uh, how do I shoot if I do this? This is like this is the true. Uh, Emulation for uh, uh, for doing it like that. It's, oh, it's the cyber dude, a dude, of course. What was I thinking? Silly me. I'm just gonna oh, press all the buttons and hope I don't die. Um. So what was I saying? Yeah. So they weren't actually sure, as far as I know, that that uh, the analog stick would kick off because this is that was the first platform that they actually had it uh, on the uh, analog stick. So the whole idea was that the fallback was that they still had a D-pad on the left side. And you could change your kind of your your hand position to basically use only the D-pad if all the games basically ended up using just the D-pad, right? But as it turns out, that the D-pad was actually dog shit on the N64. At least whenever I used it, I I was not a fan of that D-pad. Uh, that and the I, I think the Xbox controller D-pad was really shit too. The, they both they both had really terrible D-pads. I think the only the only D-pad I've ever liked was when I actually used a SNES controller one, the one time I did, and it's actually something to do on. Um, why is it showing me this gun? I don't know. Um, I don't. I, I don't know. It, it was something to do with like how uh, patents or something. I don't even fucking know what they were thinking with that. They 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 really cheaped out on it. I'll tell you that much on both like N64 and the other one. Uh, but yeah, so the the whole idea was that you change the positioning of your mouse cursor kind of thing. All right. This goes down somehow. Okay. I had it go down before. Did I? Was it not going down? Maybe maybe my eyes deceived me. Am I allowed to shoot things here? Oh, I am. Okay. I was <laughs> just wondering if I could shoot switches here. I haven't attempted that yet. Oh, shit. Lost Souls. Burn of Lost Souls. Hell, of Cyber Demons. Oh, shit. I just... 
Did I just take a butt ton of damage or is my health always this low? Oh no, he, he blew up a barrel that was next to me, that's what he did. So I just got, I got outplayed by a lost soul. Which uh, sounds about right for me. Uh, N64 also has plastic on plastic grinding on, on the, uh, the analog stick. Yeah, that was part of that, but you, it, I don't know. Analog sticks were a mistake. Let's just go with that. Can we all agree to that? We can all agree to that. Now they, well, whatever. I, I honestly, I, I don't know what a good controller input is besides mouse and keyboard, to be honest. Oh, the stick controller did a pretty good job. The touchscreen controls, those were pretty sick, actually. That does not look like an elevator at all, so. Uh, minus 10 points from midway for uh, doing that. Anyways. The Lost Souls are faster than this one. They don't appear like they are, honestly. That might just be my perception, but, uh... They don't look like they're faster. Uh, they look like they're about... Not even same speed. I don't know. I'm also dying to a Lost Soul. How, how humiliating would it be if I died to a Lost Soul? That was my first legit death. Actually, I haven't died at all so far. This is, by the way, Deathless Run for my first time. For anyone who doesn't know, this is actually the hardest difficulty, so, because um, Nightmare in this is not Nightmare in uh, Doom, Doom 1, so I was just like, fuck it, whatever. I can't wait until we get the plasma rifle. That one I'm actually pretty interested in. Okay, I was just. Oh shit, made Lost Souls again. Oh, hey, all of the switches went down. Oh shit, uh, can we bring up the rockets? Um, fuck, what key is that? Oh, I, dude, I actually died. Rip. I failed the puzzle. Uh, it actually just, it actually just spawns you at the beginning of the level when you die. What happened to the music? The music is just completely gone. <laughs> I mean, I, it wasn't really music to begin with, but yeah. I think I think maybe one of the rocket projectiles exploded on their projectile. It seems like a likely scenario of what happened. I don't know if they actually has that mechanic in this game. So let's see, if I t press this one, does it all do... Yeah, it looks like they all do the same thing, honestly. Looks like their pathfinding is as good as in Doom 1, honestly. <laughs> oh, man. What key was a rocket launcher? Just press the switch button a couple times for the real Hunt 64. I mean, you know what? I have to say, having an actual weapon key was a pretty good good idea. Fuck. Oh, my God. That, I, okay, that's what got me. It's me hitting the frickin' thing. Those things have a hitbox the size of uh, Asia. I don't know. They actually have really abnormally high hitboxes. Or I'm just not used to them. Am I glad everyone? Uh... Oh, this is the exit. Oh, let's see what's over here. Oh, hey, we can get a lot of rock. Dude, I don't need rocket launchers. Why, why is this thing so stingy on the frickin' on the uh, health packs? You shoot the wall. Which wall? Sorry, I'm being told to shoot the wall in stream cheating. Uh, if that's technically stream cheating. Oh, you oh you mean like because I was I was fucking up? Okay, never mind. <laughs> I, I thought you were telling me there was a secret I'm missing. I <laughs> yeah, oh he's like oh here we go. Hey look, more ammo and not health. Oh wait wait mega health. Oh did I miss a mega health of being level? Maybe we should go back for that. I, dude, I totally, I totally didn't get that mega health. Let me go back for that. I think the entire time it's been expecting me to have that, and I haven't had that. So, let's go back. Let's go backtrack like a fucking plebeian. Here we go. Supercharge. Oh my god. Oh, uh, uh, seizure warning, or maybe I don't know. Okay. Fun fact: Mike reads bad. Thanks a lot. Alright, 
So now we're at 200 HP, so we're, we're okay. But we have no armor, so we're still bad. We get ah oh shit yes fifty percent secrets again all right this is a fifty percent secrets run you have to you have to go to some other person's playthrough to fucking see a hundred percent secrets start playthrough I I think it's only worth half half my effort I I, I this is like the that was like the third level in a row I got exactly uh, half the secrets also is it just me or those imps like purple. <laughs> I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure the N64 was capable of a color palette that would make the uh, that that would make it make the fucking imps not look like uh, Barney the dinosaur. But you know, oh, no, we still at full HP. Uh, was this released to PC recently? It was released uh, released with Doom Eternal, as far as I know, or just before it, or something. I don't, I don't remember. It, it was something around that. That's when they started the port, and then you got it as like a free bonus if you uh, um, if you pre-ordered Doom Eternal, and if you didn't, then you uh, uh, you basically have to pay for it now. So they have they have it for a money amount of money, so. I, of course, like a true gamer, have pre-ordered everything without even looking at the reviews. I actually don't really pre-order stuff. Um, in the particular case of Doom Eternal, I knew I was playing that no matter what. So, that's kind of my thought process on that. Because I kind of just looked at him like, well, I am getting these sweet, like... This trumpet skin skin for the fucking uh, uh, what's it what's it what's he called? We've got the dude with the rockets, so we'll call him the dude with the rockets, the the dude guy. Fuck, where are they called? Arch? Uh, no, not arch. <laughs> uh, Revenant. That's it. That's the one. I I dude, memorizing Doom enemy names is not my forte. All right. Uh, plus being good at video games, but you know. That's just how I am. This is what you come to expect from me. Um, oh, we can get the shotgun here, super shotgun. So yeah, I did, I did, I did pre-order that game just so I could have this and that and all that kind of stuff. Uh, was it was it worth it? I would say yes. In this case, the pre-order the pre-order bonuses were worth it. Uh, in most cases, they're not. It, I, I think a lot of games I've pre-ordered over the years, I've just been like, oh god, here's some shit I'll never use. This one, you actually got something like that I would probably have played anyways, which is the uh, the, the the Doom 64 stuff. So, But like I said, you can still get it separately, so it's all good. There are cyber demons all of them. I mean, you're alright. Now, I didn't pick up a key yet. Also, there's a thing up here. Oh man, I hit Lost Souls. I just noticed they make like the same like damage noises as wow, they they actually took off a lot of my health. I may have spoken too soon when I said they were easy. You know what I haven't used? I haven't used those fucking chains though. Got it's got two blades, okay? Which which actually from a logistical standpoint doesn't really make much sense when you think about it, because who would ever use a chainsaw with two blades like that if you're trying to chop down trees and shit? Where where was the realism? Ten out of five game. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, look, I can I can get all the items like this. You have to be an extremely professional N64 platformer, guys. Fuck. Apparently that's not me. Alright. Okay, fuck dude. I pro you know what I could probably do to make this easier? Turn off auto run. And you know what I'm not gonna do? I'm not gonna turn off auto run, because that'd be admitting defeat. Okay, so that would have been able to get all that. Okay, we're all good. The last game you pre-ordered was System Shock 2. You're probably a smart smarter man than I am. <laughs> but then again, I make I make internet videos, so that's my excuse. <laughs> that's 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 my only excuse, honestly. 
I don't, I don't, I don't have any reasoning. Actually, honestly, uh, Divinity Original Sin stuff, yeah, no, that, that's also like day one pre-order. That Larian Studios or whatever, they're fucking boss. That stuff's pretty good. All right, so I have absolutely no idea where to go now. So let me have a look, because the last thing I did was there was a button I pressed up here that didn't seem to do anything. Such is life, though, in the zone. So I did that, and then that didn't do anything. As far as I could tell, though. These, uh, yeah, these these N64 developers are fucking tricky. You remember when you trusted Bethesda? I'm trying to think of a Bethesda game I actually liked. Because it wasn't many. Also, these door textures kind of look like wall textures a lot of the time. It's a little bit confusing. Alright, so I can't do anything here. I guess there's another... I guess these are all doors. I think about it. I mean, I was never I was never a Fallout 1 guy or Fallout 2 guy. I think I played... Like... I liked Oblivion. But I'm told that... Uh, I'm, a, I'm a dirty casual because... Uh, that uh, Morrowind is where it's at. And I, ironically, people say the same thing about Skyrim. That Oblivion's where it's at. So it seems like every... Uh, Every every generation of fan bases for um, for Bethesda games gets progressively more elitist. <laughs> they always say the last game was the best one, and then there's gonna be like fucking the next the next Elder Scrolls game. They're gonna say Skyrim was where it's at. You know that's why Morrowind is a mess. I mean, honestly, though, I think the only reason I haven't played Morrowind is because the uh, there's too much reading with it. I'm not very good. And I don't have the attention span for reading heavy things. So, it's 100% a me problem, I assure you. I I assume it's a good game. I should I should just give it a go at some point because I did play Fallout 1 at some point. And I I did I did find Fallout 1 really enjoyable, but um what the fucking mother? Cuz I I opened this thing. That probably just opened something somewhere else and now I have to go find out where it is. The pinnacle of game design right here. Where the fuck is it? It just it did it just really just open up a fucking random shit somewhere? <laughs> I just don't I just press the switch and it's like no. Um, I mean is there a computer at least to like tell me where where to look? Or is it just literally expect me to go back through the entire level and just kind of look at everything? Oh god, that's so terrible. <laughs> Guys, there are rules. Oh no, it opened this one, okay. Like, like, don't, don't even, don't even say I'm giving the game a hard time. That's not a good idea. Okay, why would it make me do that? Oh God, it's a door <laughs> You can't, you can't forgive that. That's not a good game design. Not even in 1997, just to do shit like that. Oh yeah, berserk. Okay, this is a terrible idea. I'm never using that again. And, and there's one other thing I'm going to say. The sound bites are literally trash for most of these enemies. It's just it's just someone like grunting into the mic. Like, that's what it sounds like to me. So the, the sound effects aren't that good. And don't say I'm giving it a hard time for N64 or 1997. Doom 1 sounds were good. Doom 2 sounds were good. They weren't even good. Technically, it is not Bethesda. Well, I'm a publisher. It's like, whatever it is. I don't even know. Couldn't get through Hexen without a guide. I'll, you know, neither could I. My guide was Wikidoo. I remember how confused we got with that, because it was a non-linear game. That shit was uh, cash money, honestly. But honestly, I didn't like that either, to be honest. <laughs> I, I don't think it's ever a good idea to have a game where you kind of need a guide, but... Oh shit. Okay, why did I go here? I'm a fucking idiot. Alright, let's just save it here, because this is the perfect time to save, is when I took a massive amount of damage. But they're probably going to have one of those things where there's like a secret inside one of these fucking things. No, they don't. Fuck, why would they do this? They have me on the fucking... Alright. <laughs> they have me in a tight quarter and I have to dodge projectiles. I hate that. <laughs> I'm gonna do nothing but complain and moan about this game the entire time. By the way, get ready for it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. It's 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 still fun. It's a fun game. It's fun. Oh shit! Another cyber demon. 
Dude, I want this armor. Why the fuck does this armor never drop? Get the- oh shit. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I- okay, I was just gonna tap their use in, in, in frustration, but you know what? This works out. Oh shit, there's like a ton of these guys. Alright, well, Super Shotgun kind of deals with them pretty good. There's a bunch of health packs actually I missed throughout this level, so maybe we should just go back and get these. There you go. 96. Ah, oh, there's one more here. There you go, 100% health. We're good. Um, you know what, the crap of the Wolfenstein star game, you just want to kill evil Nazis and have fun. Oh, the, the, oh, the new Wolfenstein went for the whole wolf thing. To be honest, I, I wouldn't lie if that wasn't one of the reasons I haven't touched it yet. Um, I, I don't know why I said reasons with like a heavily emphasized Z, even though there's no Z in reasons, but... Um, I, I don't know, I heard how bad it was and I was just like, whatever. I did, I did, the thing, the thing that drew me to at least the new Wolfenstein games, and I liked the new Wolfenstein games a lot, by the way, was I liked the whole techno, like, Nazi theme with it, like, the future Nazi stuff. Because it's like, 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 everything when they, when they toss in, like, evil Nazi science and stuff, it's actually really funny to, to kind of, like, see. It's, it's creative, right? I, li I like the, I like that kind of creativity, it's amazing. Um, and there's a little hole here. I, I almost didn't pick that up for some reason. I don't even know why. I was like in literally in the middle of that room. I, 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 anyways, there's a lot of creative freedom there and they did a lot of really fucking awesome stuff with that. And that's what I loved about it so much. It was so, it was, it was just amazing to kind of play through. It's like evil, not evil Nazi science kind of shit, right? So, that I kind of like. And I like, and, and you know, Doom has a lot of the same kinds of themes where it's like, you know, evil hell science in a lot of ways. And I, and I kind of like that too about it when they do things like that. Um, I mean, the theme isn't as hard in this one. It's it's just, uh, well, not, not, not this one. Doom isn't as as much with that kind of theme as it is, but Doom Eternal did a pretty good job at kind of like imagining that kind of stuff, like in that kind of a world, which is pretty good. This is not a teleporter. Um, it is something though. Accidentally ordering chainsaws in Doom 3. Um, I mean, they had to justify it somehow, but like it was kind of like a, oh, I see. Do we just open, uh, kind of like an activation for the teleporter, I see. Oh my god, they did this fucking room maze again. The dickhead who let, made this map certainly liked this. This is his one idea, and he's like, this is what this level's gonna have. You have flipping door mazes. I noticed that they canceled their. Oh no, they didn't cancel their projectile attack. They just didn't play the sound for it or something. I imagine this stuff is slightly more difficult when I don't have a mouse, but you know, it is what it is. Doom Eternal was great. It felt very much like an arena game at times. You'd take it because it was done so well. Um. I mean, I, I don't see arena game being a negative <laughs> about it. That's a positive to me because they haven't done a, a good arena game in like years. Um, I mean, Serious Sam is the closest thing that I think came out in like the last like decade that even came close to that. And to, can I be honest? I'm not a huge fan of Serious Sam games, which I think I stated that. Fuck. I actually ran. I, I was I was saying before how I have so much ammo from for the. Uh, shotgun and then I just ran out of ammo for it. So we're gonna rocket launch this guy. I'm, I'm really worried about like accidentally shooting the walls again because I know how like the hitboxes on this thing are like size of you know I, I keep saying size of something that's kind of my my forte honestly. Cool they just died in two shotgun shells yeah fuck it let's leave. I don't know, they don't make enough arena shooters these days, so... Uh, or, or I was like, I like to call them boomer shooters. Oh shit guys, I'm sorry. I failed you guys massively. This is, became a 100% secrets run, fuck. 